guys. I am so out of shape. It is crazy. My goodness. I believe this is probably the uh, worst shape that uh, I think I've ever been in. Uh, my goodness. I mean, just running a short distance, I'm out of breath. My legs feel like spaghetti. Uh, man, it's pitiful. I can't believe I've let myself go this bad. But, uh, so I decided, you know what, I gotta make a change. Um, cause one thing, uh, man, long story short, about two years ago, I weighed about 193 pounds. And then over two years, I guess, uh, I've lost about 35 pounds or so without even trying. And I had symptoms that I, I probably knew what it was. I already knew what it was, but um, I had a lot of thirst. When I first started losing weight, I was drinking water like crazy. And uh, I was drinking probably 8 to 10 bottles of water a day. And whenever we'd go out to eat, uh, I'd drink two, three, four glasses of tea or whatever it was I ordered to drink, uh, soda. Uh, but man, the thirst was crazy. And then it slowly started getting better and better, back to normal, I guess you can say. I now drink probably four bottles of water a day. But, um, and then here recently, like I said, I knew what it already was. Uh, my dad was a diabetic. Uh, and so my wife is a diabetic. And so I finally decided to, check my glucose glucose reading I think she said normal is like 135 or somewhere in the neighborhood uh, so uh, we checked mine and it was at 450 450 so uh, so now I've stopped all sugar uh, if I drink something it's zero sugar uh, I try to eat uh, as little carbs as I can because carbs turns into sugar uh, and so uh, so now I'm trying to reverse this try to get some kind of better shape uh, I probably need insulin. My wife takes insulin shots uh, a couple times a day, but uh, I'm gonna try my best to uh, change it with uh, w with what I eat and uh, see if I can reverse it and exercise. But uh, yeah, no more sweets unless it's zero sugar. Uh, no more sodas unless it's zero sugar. Try to cut down on the bread because uh, again, that's a lot of carbs. And uh, well. Yeah, scared me as he came around there. Uh, and so, yeah, that's what I'm uh, working on doing. Just getting a better shape because, man, I am so out of shape. I mean, I can't run, you know, 500 feet without getting out of breath. And just, man, I'm so out of shape. And the sad thing is, is that in my late teens into my mid-20s, I was in probably the best shape that someone could get. I played tennis all the time, me and my brother. Uh, we uh, played in tournaments won a lot of the tournaments and uh man i could run we would play tennis all day long 90 degree weather we probably i ain't kidding you we'd play probably 12 hours uh a day especially on the weekend uh it wouldn't even bother us man the heat and stuff and uh yeah i wouldn't affect us now i can't believe the shape that i'm in right now uh because i'm 52 now so uh, it's been a good while but anyways i'm gonna get back into shape and uh, start eating right and uh see if i can uh reverse this a little bit and uh get back to where i need to be um so yeah uh if anyone has noticed uh someone someone commented hey shane looks like you lost some weight yeah i've lost some weight but uh i'm gonna get back to where i need to be and um yeah so that's why i'm out here look at this beautiful setting out here guys i'm out here uh jogging trying to do a little jogging uh, you know, it helps you when you have a beautiful scenery. Uh, I mean, look at this. Just beautiful. But, uh, alright guys, I'm going to continue. Alright. So, I'm walking now. Well, we ain't jogged in a long time. It, it gets you, man. So, now I'm just walking a little bit. And what's funny is that I ain't jogging so long. I feel uncoordinated. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to trip over my own feet. But, uh... I'll get, I'll get back to where I need to be. I'm not looking to run no marathon or anything, but I definitely want to get back in some cardio, man. Build up that cardio and uh, get the lungs back into shape. And uh, I'll be ready to rock and roll. But all right, I'm gonna go back to the car, head to the house. So it's September 9th at 7.34 in the morning and it's 60 
six degrees oh 65 degrees I'm trying to look at it through the camera man it feels nice guys this is rook he was a uh a feral cat that came to us a few years ago and uh at first we saw him in the backyard and then uh we put some food out for him and then he'd slowly get closer and closer to us to where he'd finally come on the deck yeah baby he would finally come on to the deck with us but if you moved he'd take off running and then finally he'd get closer and closer to you put your hand out he'd sniff your hand and then he'd finally let you uh, pet him uh but man uh, so now he just loves all over you but man he is a fighter he fights every animal there is i mean raccoons possums uh, bobcats and uh snakes my goodness uh we thought we was gonna lose him uh, a couple months ago he got bit by a snake he had you can see clearly see the bite marks on the side of his neck he got very very sick um to where we thought for sure we was gonna lose him he he's never been that sick uh, he comes back with cuts and scratches all over him. I don't know if you can see his ears. The scars all over his ears on his head and neck. I mean, he is something else. He has used eight and a half lives of his nine. Um, but, uh, yeah, he got real, real sick. Uh, like I said, a couple months ago from that snake bite. And uh, we finally had to get him some, uh, we got him some uh, antibiotics. And that, uh, that pretty much cleared him up. So now... Uh, he's back to normal, I guess you say, but he'll, 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 he'll go fight these animals, get tore up, man, I mean tore up, and then uh, he'll come home and just hang out uh, for a week or two to heal, then once he heals, he goes back out and finds more animals to fight, and comes back, heals, goes back out and fights, it's a, <laughs> it's a never-ending cycle with him, but man, he is about the toughest cat I think I've ever seen, like I said, he's used about uh, eight and a half of his nine lives. Ain't that right, Rook? Yes, he is. That Bowie. We do, Bowie. Yeah, yeah, yo. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just out here sitting on the front porch this morning, just enjoying the uh, morning air, man. It feels good. Like I said, it's about 65 degrees this morning and uh, feels nice. I might go for a little scooter ride here in a little bit. Guys, thanks for watching.